welcome to Santa's Workshop, the festive craft show that helps you create your very own winter wonderland just in time for Christmas. I'm Dan. And I'm Sophie. And we have got a great show in store for you today. This week, we're going to show you how to make a shimmering silver star turn to hang on your tree and how to make your very own Christmas tree that can brighten up your bedroom. So here's Sophie with the first craft. Take it away, Sophie. Thanks, Dan. That's right, so it's ideal to make your tree look really special. To make this, we're going to need a plastic bottle, an empty one, a pen, some card, some foil, scissors, glue, thread and some sellotape. The first thing we're going to do is take the bottle and the pen and draw rings around two centimetres thick around the widest part of the bottle, like so. Then grab your scissors, but be very careful and get an adult to help. Cut around the circles like so and you will have a little shape like this. Now when you've cut the rings out, take the strips of foil and wrap it completely around and then you will end up with this. Now when it's completely covered, let's make the stars. So if you get your piece of card and draw two stars like so, I've already done this, and then you can cut them out when they're ready. Be very careful again and get your parents to help. Now, that will be done and you'll have two little stars like this. So we're going to stick them together now. Get your glue. Put a little glue on the top. And stick them both together so you'll have a shape like this. Now we're going to put the star in the silver ring. So make a tiny little hole in the top with your pencil. Like this and thread it through with the string. It can be a bit fiddly though. Through the top and pull it through and you will have a shape, a little, oh sorry, a little like this one. Now let's hang it on the tree with the others. Wow Sophie, they look lovely. I know, thank you. It looks good, doesn't it? Now our next craft is by Charlotte Francis, aged 11 from Blackburn. This week she'll be making her very own Christmas tree stocking, so let's have a look how she got on. Today I am going to make a Santa stocking. You will need white fur, glitter card, felt for the toe and heel, white felt cut into circles and three kinds of ribbon. Firstly, glue the fur and stick it on to the top of the stocking. Next. Get one of your pieces of ribbons and stick it just underneath the fur. Next, get one of your pieces of felt and glue it on where the heel would be. And do the same for the toe. One of your pieces of glittery card, glue it on to your stocking at a slant. Cut your ribbon in small pieces like that and measure it so it just fits onto the card. And glue it so it looks like a present. Do the same with another piece of glittery card but in different colours. Get some thicker ribbon and stick it on, just the same as you did before. Next, get your white snowdrops and glue them just around the card. Wow, how great was that? Well done Charlotte for making such a great stocking. We're going to put it with the rest, ready for Santa. And now it's time to make our very own Christmas tree. To make this, you're going to need some green card, some glue, some scissors and a stencil. Now, I've already made, I've made it easy for myself. I've already pre-drawn mine on. You're just going to draw some triangle shapes down the card like this and cut this out. You're going to need to do this three times, okay, and 
Now, once you've done this, a little bit fiddly, you might want to get parents to help you or an adult to help you with those scissors. You're going to glue it. Sorry, just get them out the way. You're going to glue it with the rest on here. Just pop the glue on like so, all over. And then stick it on with the rest. That looks quite good. Now you can decorate this with whatever you want from around the house. Once it's dried, glitter, sequins, maybe even some buttons. Feel free to decorate it how you like. I'm just going to pop a few little silver stars on mine. Like that. And I think that looks great. What do you think, Sophie? That looks great, Dan. I want one of them. Right, for our final craft, I'm going to do a race with Sophie. Yeah. And we're going to see who can make as many snowflakes as they can in one minute. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get going. Right, I'm going to win this. <laughs> I don't think so. Careful with your scissors. Oh, hurry up. I'm quicker than you, Dan. <laughs> I think I'm quicker than you. Are you doing it at home? Right, one done. Come on, Dan, hurry up. Oh no, you're ahead of me. Dan's ahead of me. <laughs> Careful with your scissors. I've made quite a few and you've only oh, made Dan's one, Oh, Dan's really safety. good. I need to speed up a bit, don't I? Another one. Oh, time's running up. Oh no. Oh, hurry. That's a pretty one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, they're very messy. The very messy, isn't it? It's stuck everywhere. Oh. oh, that's it. Time is up. Well, let's have a look at our snowflakes. I've made one, one two, three, two, four, five, three, six. Oh, God. Well, Dan definitely won that one. I only made three. I think we should put these all around the studio yeah, ready for next I week. I do too. And I'm afraid that's the end of today's show, guys. I hope you've enjoyed our visit to Santa's workshop and I hope you have lots of fun making these at home. Yeah, and remember, you can get all the guides to the crafts from today on our website. You can also send in your own ideas that you've made at home and send them into our show for next week. And we hope to see you very soon. Bye! Bye.